Hi, Fiona here from Nature's Powerhouse. Just going to demonstrate how I do spring onions. Now, first of all, I cut off all the bottom bits and I keep these because if you add water to that, they will keep growing and then you can plant them and you can have a continuous supply of spring onions. Uh, now, what I normally do is I cut them when I prepare them, I cut them off just below that first leaf that's starting to come out and I save those bits and they go into my into my rinsing solution and then they have been in there for for approximately five minutes so they're well soaked and then all I do is I just cut them up like this to put onto the dehydrator tray. And they will dry quite happily like that. There we go. Now, they're from the onion family, so when they dry, they do get very light. Uh, they have this paper like quality to them. And they can blow around in the dehydrator, especially if you open the door without turning the fan. So, I found this handy little gadget in my local Chinese shop. It's a sieve, but it's a, a wooden framed sieve. And it is brilliant for when you put these on to your dehydrator tray, uh, you just cut them and leave out one tray because then you'll have the space. And you cover them up like that and they will be trapped inside there and won't blow all over your dehydrator. So now I've cut up a, a nice little pile. They're ready to go onto my sheet. Whoops, just be careful. They roll around all over the place. There we go. Spread them out. Ready to go into the dehydrator. Just like that. And then if you're worried about them flying all over the place, use my little idea. There you go, pop that over there and that'll dry perfectly fine, just like that. But you will also not have the problem of things flying all over the place. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's dry. Here we have dried spring onion. Very, very light. This is, this together with this is a bunch. Uh, as you buy it from the supermarket, it's a bunch of spring onion. Now, it dries a lot quicker than the more, what I call the more solid vegetables. So, it's on a par with, with lettuce and kale and those types of vegetables. So it'll dry fairly quickly, approximately eight hours to get it looking like that. And then once again, once dried, you pop it into your storage jar. And always remember that you must keep these things out of the light if you don't want them to discolour. Because they will go a sort of not very attractive brown colour if you don't store them in the dark. So on a shelf with a curtain over it or something like that, that's what I do. I have a, a bookshelf and I hang a curtain over the front of it. And that's how I store my dried vegetables. So there you have it. Spring onion, add to soups, add to stews. Have fun.